Out at the farm again, as you can see. A little windy today, but uh, today I'm going to be showing off the Ruger 1022, which is actually my brother's, but he's in California right now, so I'm borrowing it for the day. This was the designated garden gun at my parents' house for killing woodchucks and whatnot in the garden, but it uh, fell to him. So I'm going to be testing it out today. A couple of people have asked me to do a uh, little video on the Ruger 1022, and because I've mentioned in other videos that I'm not a huge fan. Now I would like to say first off that's not because I think the gun is bad in any way. It's merely that I have never really cared for semi-automatic 22. Some of them just don't function right with a cheaper ammo like the Walmart brand. Ruger 1022 always functions with whatever ammo you put in it. But just because I have never found a need for a semi-automatic 22. Now today I've only got the plastic magazines. I couldn't find the metal one. Um, the original, so I have to use these crappy ones, but they function fine, so let's uh, just go ahead and see how it shoots. It's actually, it's not a bad grouping. Um, it's definitely high left, but not a bad grouping. I'll see if I can correct that real quick. Now the one and only advantage to this gun is banana mags. It can hold a ridiculous number of rounds. So it's good for training for semi-automatics without blowing the bank. Yep, Ruger 1022. All right, what I'm going to do is I've got a target out about 100 yards there, and I'm just going to compare my Mossberg uh, 46M to the Ruger 1022. I know I can shoot a dinner plate grouping at 100 yards with that 22. I'm going to see what this compares to it. I'm also going to shoot that just to make sure and give you a comparison. So. Do it. That's not a bad grouping. Kept it together pretty good. All right, now we'll give the Mossberg a shot. Targets out the same distance, 100 yards, and we'll see uh, what kind of grouping we'll get with this compared to the Ruby 1022. And this is the group I got with my Mossberg 46M, not bad. So they both performed pretty well. Uh, I think my Mossberg was a little tighter, but uh, not bad.
especially for the range we're at.